Hello Bridgewater Raritan Middle School, this is Katie, your local teen librarian from the Bridgewater Library, a branch of the Somerset County Library System of New Jersey. Today I'm here to talk about some fun books for you to read over the summer. This book talk is intended for 8th graders going into 9th grade. You can find these books at sclsnj.org. We have ebook copies for your convenience. Also, sign up for our summer reading challenge at sclsnj.org slash summer reading. You can win prizes, challenge yourself to read more books as well. Let's get started. The first book I'd like to discuss today is Allies by Alan Gratz. This takes place during World War II during D-Day. Alan Gratz weaves together the perspectives of teens just like yourself, but they're fighting in war. This book has suspense, it has war, and it has multiple teens trying to survive when the world is in chaos on D-Day and they're trying to fight for freedom. The next book is American Royals. Just imagine what the United States would be like if we had a royal family. This book, American Royals by Catherine McGee does exactly that. It's an alternate universe of America. In this book, there's drama, there's scandal, um, there's secret relationships, there's jealousy, everything that you can possibly ask for in this book, it has it. The main character is Beatrice, and she is going to be the first queen regent that the United States has ever had, and explores her story as well as other people in the American royal court. The next book is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. This is a prequel to The Hunger Games. You can start with The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, or you can start with The Hunger Games, whichever you prefer. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes takes place 60 or so years before The Hunger Games on the 10th Hunger Game. And the main character is Cornelius Snow. And if you remember from The Hunger Games, if you've read that, Cornelius Snow is the one in charge. This book explores his story and how he got to be the way he is. And that's not a good person. So if you're interested, you should definitely check out The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and put it on hold right away because it already has a long list of interested readers. The next book, Jacqueline Woodson, Harbor Me. This is about a group of students who their teacher lets them have an hour after school where they can just be alone in the art room, A-R-T-T, -T, stands for a room to talk, where they can just talk about their problems. Their problems range from Esteban's parents being deported to another kid worrying about racial profiling and another teenager who's worried about her father who is in jail who she's never even got to live with because he has been in jail her entire life this book is a really great tale it, ha it makes you feel warm inside but also like scared for what's out there and it's just like a great tale where a group of kids who don't feel like they fit in because of the art room, they become best friends and they become connected in a way that they never thought or expected. And it's in a very beautiful way as well. The next book is Layoverland by Gabby Nolan. And this takes place after the main character Beatrice's life is over. She dies in a car crash Beatrice, let's be clear, she's not the best person, and she has to work her way out of purgatory, and to do that, she has to help 5,000 souls cross over into heaven, and her first assignment, Caleb, is the person who crashed into her car, so she's debating whether or not she wants revenge, or if she wants romance from Caleb, because he's kind of cute. So it's a very interesting story, especially if you've seen The Good Place, that TV show like that, where it takes place after life. And it takes place in an airport. The next book is 97 Things to Do Before You Finish High School. There's a long list of things that you could do. It ranges from planning a road trip to 
uh, making a time capsule to exploring your astrology um, on your birth date or palm reading, just a wide variety of things to do before you finish high school. Some of them are about you, um, your family, your friends, and others are about the environment. This is some really good activities for you to, to do over summer while we're in quarantine. The next book and the last book I'll be discussing today is It's Trevor Noah, Born a Crime. Um, if you guys don't know who Trevor Noah is, he's a comedian and he's also the, the host of The Daily Show uh, on Comedy Central. And his story is very interesting. It, it takes place in South Africa where he was born. Um, he was born a crime. And what does that mean? It means that at the time he was born in South Africa, it was against the law to be mixed racially. So the fact that he was half black and half white made it very difficult for his mom and his dad to take care of him because he couldn't call his dad dad in public. His mom had to get other colored people to pretend to be his mom so that they can go to the park together. Um, and just like different things along those lines. It's just a very interesting story and it takes place in South Africa where we may not truly understand. It's just very interesting to have a new perspective. So that is the books that I suggest for eighth graders going into ninth grade. And I thank you so much for listening today. Um, once again, you can find all these books on slsnj.org as an ebook. But get on the hold list today because some of them are very popular and I don't want you waiting too long for them. Thank you.